Morgan Stanley Semis analyst Joe Moore joins us with his outlook for the sector. Joe, it's great to have you. Um, I mean, we know Samsung's a big player, but does the space really d deserve to re reflect that news with what it's done this week? Well, it's really an unprecedented action. You know, we, Samsung is ordinarily not inclined to, to do this. Uh, you know, Micron had already lowered utilization. Western Digital had already lowered utilization. Uh, we are dealing with a situation where profitability is kind of 2009 levels of losses. This is very challenging conditions. So for Samsung to take this action is a really big deal. The, the concern I would have is what it really does is it boosts the floor. So it's probably a little less bad conditions as we move through the rest of the year. Uh, it does sort of suggest that when we move into the next upturn, that the conditions will remain a little bit challenging. There's a lot of latent supply that will come back online. So the way we've been looking at it, um, it, it protects the floor. It doesn't really boost the ceiling in terms of where we're going to go in the next cycle. Uh, but I think the move yesterday was warranted. This is a, a unique action uh, and one that, uh, that, that should have some positive results. And the question is kind of what's priced in already. Right. Um, I mean, we do think about uh, recent quarters out of uh, Micron, to be sure, and the guidance there. I mean, at one point, we were wondering if we were going to see broad-based inventory write-downs. Write I, I imagine that's what you mean by protecting the floor, right? Yeah, I mean, Micron, you know, had roughly a $2 billion loss last quarter, which did include lower of cost or market inventory adjustment, uh, which you have to do, right, when your gross margins go negative. So really challenging conditions. Uh, and Micron's put themselves in a good position with a good balance sheet to weather that storm. Uh, so in my mind, the question is, you know, Micron to me feels like it's already discounting pretty good outcome for the next cycle. So we're underweight, Micron. I think, you know, they've done a great job, but the stock feels to me a little bit ahead of itself, big picture. Western Digital, on the other hand, is a little bit more of a challenge situation. Uh, the, the balance sheet's not, not as robust. And so I think, you know, removing the really negative scenarios for the second half uh, is really positive for them because you're going to have a good cycle. And the question is, how do you weather the storm in 2023? Uh, and WD, which has almost no market value being assigned to its memory business, uh, I think this is a really good outcome. So, you know, it, it's good for both. Uh, but I think from a stock standpoint, it leaves us more constructive on, on WD, understanding that there's risk. Uh, that risk is lessened when you sort of, you know, eliminate the really negative conditions that we're seeing currently. Right. Uh, Street definitely uh, gave the uh, PC uh, Q1 unit shipments uh, uh, the once over earlier in the week. Uh, is the, the easy playbook for some is, look, let's just stick with auto and industrial. Does that still make sense? Um, I would take the other side of that to some degree, right, that I think you have the sectors that have already seen their inventory correction, that where you're under shipping and demand, that's kind of when you want to buy semis, right, is when you're under shipping and demand, conditions are negative, and you've got in the future a kind of catch-up period where you move back up to end demand. The, the problem is for memory, the, the supply demand imbalance is so significant that we could have a rebound in volume. And if you don't take these supply side actions, you're still left oversupplied in the back half. So I'm not negative on PCs at this point. I think stocks that have those exposures, those are actually areas we're seeking out. And then by contrast, automotive and industrial, really strong trends currently still. How much of that is the shortage we've been seeing for the last couple of years, customers wanting to build inventory up as a safety buffer to make sure they don't have these issues in the future? You know, that might be the part of the cycle where you're over earning a little bit. So I would look to areas, PC, smartphones, you know, consumers as areas where we're, we're under earning. And the question is, you know, when will it get better uh, versus those other areas where it's definitely good now, but you might have more headwinds ahead of us.